Hi, it's Shub. Welcome to this reaction. I am going to watch it. I've tried to avoid who the character was that they're going to be revealing because this is the afternoon, actually. Anyway, here we go. Reaction time. Woo! I'm sick, by the way, so my reaction is not going to be as good as I'd want it to be. Here we go. Uh, wait. Okay. I thought the sound was bugged. Shoot. All right, here we go. No, it's Fire Emblem! Is it? I'm scared. Is Hopefully it's not Fire Emblem. To unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! I kind of think it's Fire Emblem though, and I'm sad now, because that would be a ninth or eighth or... There are way too many Fire Emblem characters. They're all the same thing. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... Alright, hold on, I'm having problems. There is no other choice. You must join Smash. Yep, I knew it. Fire Emblem. Crap. <laughs> okay, it's 480. Let's see if this works. Join Smash Brothers already! What in the world are you waiting for? Alright, here we go. This is already looking cleaner. Yep. Alright, that was actually a pretty cool, um... So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself! So that's a pretty cool cutscene, I'd say. Ooh, I like the stage. Uh, but I can't believe it's another Fire Emblem Black. I don't know, it looks like a Fire Emblem character. Oh, except it has Joker's Grapple. I I'm really, I'm not enthused. This is my genuine reaction to another Fire Emblem character. So you return, and sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? And you, you wield the sword as well? See, even what Sakura's making do? fun of the Fire Emblem. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. Wait, is he- does he not have a sword? Was that... fake? How is this? Oh, well, I, okay. So it's like an alternate costume. Okay. Okay, the old man is impressed. Of anyone, you should be able to handle the hero's relics. Okay, so we're actually, you know, not just swords now. We have basically the same thing. Just longer, Use which is scary. No, Hatchet Man! Oh, shit! Oh, Aerial Unleash Hatchet the Man. Speed of scary. Okay, has a bow. The sword of the creator. Each weapon matches a direction. Okay, then. So, each move is a different weapon. I mean, it's nothing really new, I guess. Okay, this stage actually looks dope. I, I wonder what the hazards off will be. Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Fire Emblem! Why, Sakurai? Oh my god. Why? Hi. <laughs> yes, there you have it. Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses is joining the battle. Oh man. Fire Emblem Three Houses was released just last summer, so it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
This release is planned for January 28th. You'll have instant access if you have the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass. Okay. And it will also okay. be available for purchase individually. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things, so don't worry. First off, what is Fire Emblem? It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you, so please be careful. The series' first entry launched in Japan on the Famicom in 1990. You could say it was okay. a pioneer in the genre of tactical role-playing games. You might be wondering what makes it particularly tactical. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game, or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. Yeah, there was one time, I don't know why, I just played Fire Emblem Heroes and... When we talk about tactical yeah, games of that era, things. there were lots of ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in role-playing games. Well, most of them are sword fighters, I think. <laughs> At least Plus, the ones in Smash something are. made it stand out from other Nintendo products. Characters could permanently die. <laughs> That's pretty direct language though, so perhaps we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. But really, if a character fell in battle, you'd lose that unit. They'd be gone and you couldn't use them again. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you. But a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. In the older games, your units would really be gone, never to be mentioned again. Scary. Well, yeah, because older games, told, like, I'd say, have more of a challenge than the newer ones, unless you actually go for the hard modes in the games. Several characters also appear in the Super Smash Bros. series, and six of the seven can use a counterattack. It's their down special. Exactly. There are. There's actually a reason for this. There's when around I was six. Considering how to incorporate Fire more than six Fire Emblem characters Smash in the game. Melee, I thought it might be interesting about four of them are the same the thing. based nature of the original game. First comes your opponent's turn. They attack, and you counter. Next comes your turn. And now, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the 17th game in the series. People who aren't Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are that many? Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. I'll give it a try. え、暗黒流と光の剣。え、ガイデン紋章の謎、聖戦の契約、トラキア776の奇跡、え、聖魔の功績、赤月の女神、え、新願国流新紋章、え、覚醒行く黄色ってこう図風化設立。There you go. 17. <笑> So you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. This is zero. Fold this here and you get one, and then you get two, and then two plus one equals three. So this would be four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you get sixteen. Yeah, check it out, Sakurai's teaching code. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. And if you use both hands, you can count all the way up to 1,023. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> if you've given up counting the knots in a tatami mat, you could always give it a go. What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? In Japanese, the male version of the main character is called Bereto, and the female version is called Beresu, but in English, they share the same name, Byleth. Byleth becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their school life, and, well, you end up fighting the other houses. After a certain incident, five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. It's a very sad game in which your former allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. 
To understand the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played an early version of the game before its release. I've done the same thing before, with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example. Because I couldn't wait until launch to experience it or we'd have never made it in time. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time, hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. I did the oh, same so this time, correct, but with there being the three houses fast. and multiple endings, okay. it was really hard to get I mean, feel yes, for it. he is, I guess, a developer, but... And of course, it's fun there that weren't any walk-ins in his free time. The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is very different. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope you'll understand. Before my demonstration, I should point out that when I did the Terry Bogard showcase video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But okay. this time, we have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Ooh, right now, so they wait a long November. time before they have this reveal. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. If there was a As always, gap, I'm using yeah. a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Here I go. And here we go. Let's see what this is. That is a long title. So, this is our new fighter, Violet. Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. Throws are not their strong point either. Their grab lacks range. But actually, you could say that they're distance demon. The hero's so, relic they so use they changes aren't depending fully on the direction more. you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They look like bones, and there's a reason for that. First, let's talk about the weapon Byleth uses for upward inputs, the Sword of the Creator. The Sword of the Creator here is Byleth's default weapon. They use it for flurry attacks and tilt attacks, such as down tilt attacks, where it takes the form of a whip. They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. Alright, so... For their up smash attack, They'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. I mean, it's an interesting looking sword, which is nice, up air it's not just a sword. They'll wave the whip sword overhead. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. The up special move is really something. The sword extends like this, allowing you to do things like this. Ooh, I like that! I like that! Knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition... Okay, I like the Omega form. That looks dope. <gasps> it's a downward! Oh, that's awesome! This. I can see that being used in great ways. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. Oh. Once it reaches that percentage, they're gonna percentage go down. And you need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. I've already right, shown so, this, but you can also use it to latch okay, onto the Okay, the up edges. special works with the tether, so that's nice. So, that's the up special. Now, for the sideways inputs. This is Erdvar, the same name as the weapon from Celtic mythology. First, we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, they have a long reach. Like so. Marth's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. Huh. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long range. It'll connect even from here. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is a pretty big forward smash. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. Oh, okay, I don't think it was that strong, actually. And if you've knocked an opponent down, the, percent. the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. Right, and I think this is the hazards off right here. So you have like two walls and flat. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Yeah, it makes sense. The so shaft like part is weaker. Sword. So it's not suited to close combat. 
Oh we yeah, that is extremely weak. Won't launch opponents <laughs> far. We can knock why, back. As a rule, percent was okay. One hit I with guess. the blade part aimed upward. Or downward. So you want to angle your okay. Next, so the side with this move, you want to angle your smash. Byleth will simply swing the lance like this, but again, it has excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent is at this distance... Ooh, I like the hit. battlefield. Okay, I like those battlefield platforms. It looks really neat. Actually, you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. What? Wait. You can smash attack but as you'd during expect, specials? You can be easily shielded, so be careful. Was, was that worded weird, or...? I miss something. Use it in midair, and you'll climb oh, up can be shielded. Area. Cool. I think most of his attacks can be shielded. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why so a lot of people don't play well. Simon anymore because his attacks are either all horizontal or all vertical. There's no real in between. Now, for the that downward slight inference. diagonals you can put on. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. It's named after a yeah, weapon that's the that appears in Ugaritic so. myth. First, the down air attack. It really is strong. You can try for a meteor. Ooh, this attack. okay, that. I mean, the most of those ones where you have to power up something look dope. I mean, swing of my two mains have that, so. As you can see, it anyway, has a great deal dope. of launch power. And the down smash is at a pretty neat And for the angle, down special. Not my favorite angle, Violet channels all their energy into Yep, and then that's the hatchet, strike. man. I didn't it's a bold see the move, present, but. Similar to the Falcon Punch. Yeah, it's a bold move. It's a difference. power move. It when is slow move, though. It takes like armor. I'd say around a second. Yeah, super armor. It only does twenty. Did I see that Which right? Allows you to withstand an attack. Ah, and apparently just so you know, sort of if you execute a, a falcon punch at about the same time. Oh, okay. That's gonna be fun for trades. It's, it's basically a falcon, falcon punch. punch. But due to the super armor effect, you have the advantage. Oh no, it's a warlock punch. Unless Never you mind. Rest. Another notable aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. While you're charging up, you can breeze past platforms oh. like this to reach a lower area. That's interesting. They won't let you jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Like, I don't know how much also, use that will actually get, but, I mean, it's cool. The swing and of course, you can B-reverse it. So if an opponent runs behind I guess during the it's move, sort of a fakey B-reverse. It's an easier one. Even though it can be hard to land a hit with this move, it can be really effective. He's really putting this basically glorified warlock punch into detail. Plus, even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponent but it does look really cool. Will still be powering up a ginormous axe and then hitting them in the head with It's as it. if the quaking of the ground launches them. And it does have sort of splash damage. So. By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series, because you'll just get loads of counters. Ooh! It hits with that much power in a single attack. Counters yeah, can actually it's multiply more the power of counter, so that is and using easily mm. anticipated attacks. And that like kills them instantly. That could be because the blast zones are small at this section. But. Next, we have the neutral moves. The bow you Ooh, I like this area. I like which this shares area. its name with the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. I mean, these all look pretty it good. It only though. appears in a few neutral moves. Yeah. You've got the neutral air attack. This attack Let's is see. similar. Was the last fire on the stage? Like Reset bomb. It lets you spin us? the weapon around. It, it might have. Might have. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. It seems pretty straightforward, right? But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this bow. First, the biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. Oh, you can't so you can't do a fake, you can't so do like a partial charge. You have to be completely so it's also very charged. powerful. But I guess it has some. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. Oh, but you can't you can cancel so you're not walking while in the stance. Okay. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, you'll unleash. Jeez! Okay, that's cool, and it takes way too long to actually be practical in the button competitive setting, but 
you charge Isn't up like a free for all? If someone was you like then fire. Say it was a team battle. But again, okay, team attacks off. Take care someone has move. the daybreak. They for get all once, three parts, they launch the it. So the There's other team no is stuck inside there, then you start charging your neutral special before. In other words, so they get launched with the daybreak, and then you hit them with so the you huge bow. Like Jeez, that's gonna do a terrible. lot of fun stuff. Oh, and it can be reflected. Okay, thanks for showing that, uh, Toya. Right. Once you've entered the stand, you won't be able to Okay, and you're, I guess you're very vulnerable. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters. Yeah, it seems like this person is like but risk you always just reward. Aim into the fray, as it is Similar to like Hero, which is cool. Just without Letting reading. Letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So, so it's sort of like, I guess a mix between... It's like a By Ganon final mark. Smash is called Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. Where in their we've got some game, stuff. Move called Ruptured Heaven. Okay, this but usually it'll take a bit of time to actually pull out the moves. So it's pretty easy to dodge. All right, that's a pretty cool fight. As you can smash. see, you team up with the mysterious Sophus and launch an attack together. Now, let's talk about the color variations. It's set up so that the default and odd numbered color variations are male, while the even numbered ones are female. Alright, so just like Robin and Coins. However, are male, the third, are female. fourth, and fifth colors Ooh, are, I like as you colors. can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Those of you who played their original nice game will of course colors. understand what I'm referring to. The sixth color is based on Sophus, who you just saw earlier. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Didn't we see this variation in the final smash? New stage? Alright, time to actually see what this is about. Next, I'll introduce the stage. For this one, we of course tried to recreate the place where you spend most of the game. Garrig Mach Monastery. This is how Garrig Mach Monastery is laid out in the original game. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. The first area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. The guests that appear here are students of the Blue Lion's house, Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Since it's a kingdom, that means they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Dimitri is the future king. He had quite the difficult life and may or may not end up with just one eye. He's an unfortunate one, that one. There are vendors on either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things, but... Uh, okay, so these are breakable break them, things, and I guess that... <laughs> if you do break them... I guess that makes it so the you can be launched off there. The left and right. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> <laughs> and in the background, you can see the gatekeeper. You often pass through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you end up talking to him a lot. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop. Okay, that's a that's a pretty cool transition. I like it better than just fading to white. So we broke into the ceiling. Ooh, and the and chandeliers the the Okay. And the guests in the reception oh, hall. I guess that's not just Dorothea another fire and Petra character. Of the Black Eagle. Because it's a Ganon Mar. Take and note, they have it's a not spelled Adolgar. Lit stage, I guess. Which is They're cool. from the Adrestian Empire. And as I don't think there's such, any their military possible mind. way this could be legal with hazards off. Adolgar is one of the no characters way with central to the conflict. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock them down. Alright, so it's like the um, light fixture. I'm However, Violet can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. 
Okay, so these are if you can work your way up like there by getting lucky and being launched down, up, just or perhaps or by like using another fighter up. as a stepping stone. There like we go. That. I made it. And you can knock it down. Also, you can break this table. Like so. Wait, why? Just like the sign that reads Fuding Kazan in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Oh. Wait, what's that do? It, like, the, that doesn't up, do the anything. Bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long, long area. It's very wide indeed. <laughs> oh, so it's like a. It's similar to the bridge of Elden. The guests are from the Golden Deer, Claude, Hilda, and Lawrence. They belong to the Leicester Alliance. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. The naming process must be tough. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, plain and simple. You can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. You could also say it's a place where the fail knot really shines, and in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. The last area is the cathedral, only with some platforms you can pass through. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Sedef, Flane, and Rhea. There's Sedef, who appears to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, Flane. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. I feel that Flame might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Alright, so it's being the last area, it may be a place yeah, a where some intense board, battles exactly. will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. Oh. So it's actually it takes quite a long time to cycle. Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per side. That's interesting. All right, here we go, Joker. Joker! Oh, he did that on purpose. And Hero! Did that on purpose? Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo! Yeah, I like how right the now, I think you know trying to figure out how to... <laughs> but basically, I'm I trying to defeat all five opponents screaming. with just the professor here. But as expected, it's going to be a pretty right, so tough he's battle, actually so doing a 5 on anything, one, which is real hand. risky and dope. Of course, I don't know what easily. CPU level this is. Uh oh, <laughs> this is bad. Benigans. I better keep my distance. I'll use this chance to attack. Got him. That's scary. He's invincible for a moment here. Hmm. Nice use of bombs. Lots of <laughs> explosives. Ouch. Perfect shield at that, huh? Good one. If I do this, like this, or like so. No anti air, huh? There. The soccer ball connected. Good. He has the There's item mom. of the fade right there. You're in a good spot, Mom. No, no, I'd say the stage looks cool. It, it might be fun to uh, play. I shouldn't have taken that. Like this. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir is there or not. No, no, I might actually enjoy the game. I feel like the, the enemy might get this smash ball. See? They got it. Oh, this is bad. Sakurai, do what you do up. best. 
Ooh, the shield I break. Can't waste chance. Oh, the hatchet man. Oh, that was dope. There's another was, smash ball. That was probably yes, the best it. way to approach it. Oh, final now. Oh, uh, and it's back to this stage, so the small blast zones. You might die. Nope, okay. There's still more. Okay, there's a hammer. Is he gonna go for it? Go on, you can take the hammer, but it's mine. Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him! I was trying to fight using Byleth's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. Okay then. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. What? That is interesting. The end. Now, about the additional music. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. Eleven songs are being added. Alright. Eleven songs compared this to like, you know, an arrangement of all the main others. Game, yeah, that's Japanese okay. and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. Alright, and of course the spirit board. Let's see. It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. How many this time? Nine, okay. So this is legend class. Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic legacy, mm -hmm. which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series history. Oh, okay. The That's... final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Oh, so, okay. So it's actually Now a for the Mii Fighter boss. costumes. And he's not spoiling Please take it. a look. Wait, what? Mii Fighters! The thing we've all been waiting for. Not really. Mii Fighters suck. We'll, we'll see. Maybe there's a surprise. No clue. I, I do not know who this is. I am not excited in the slightest. No memes, memes galore. Oh, of course they had rabbits. That's the super meme right there. Okay. All right. I don't know if people actually care about these. I sure don't. Only one I cared about was Sans. Okay, I, I like that. I, I see what he did there. That, that's nice. No, they're adding a cup at me, fighter. So that's, that's sick. That's sick. Yes, more indie representation. Yes, and a music track. Oh, they pulled the sands, people. They pulled the sands again. I'm sick. I'm not that reactionary right now. But okay, they have another good surprise. Woo. Yay! Alright, the usual prize. Okay. This time, we're releasing a Cuphead costume. And for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. I hope you enjoy these as well. Alright, well that Mii Fighter was really cool. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. If someone has created a Mii Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. And now, on to the Amiibo. The color palette for Dark Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release on Friday, January 17th. Okay. 
Nah, I'm not an amiibo collector, but I guess that's cool. And now, with the addition of Violet, the now fighters it is over. cast the is fighters finally passed. complete. Complete. The lineup was Joker, Hero, yeah. Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard. And I don't know, that's a pretty good list, actually. I I really like the DLC fighters. From more than 70 fighters, only five have been added. But I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start. We intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? Mm -hmm. we there were so many. Fighter, we don't simply really make cool their attacks or their movements the a little fighters. different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess it is sort of worth it since, you know, you get these fantastic characters that play differently As from I everyone stated, else. We'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but well, have a look. What? We're getting a reveal? Even more fighters! Yep, we knew that. How many though? Five more? Eleven more? Six more! Okay, okay. Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Ooh. Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available for pre-purchase. Oh, and then Fire Pass 2 is pre keep an eye out. It has pre-purchased the And now that it's okay. official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents mm -hmm. will remain unknown for now, and I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Okay, okay. Even so if we I can't really any requests it, regarding all six fighters have already on been Twitter, chosen. I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. I did not expect six more fighters. Pass volume two. There's a bonus? Last time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. Alright, let's see. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Ooh. Fighter. The ancient soldier gear from The Legend of Zelda Breath Okay, of the I like the, the sword looks great. This one's so not the for sale individually, nice. so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Yep, that's crazy, I don't love Personally, it. It's I don't a great game. It counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Mm. Seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. Wow, that's impressive. However, I'm not sure Street Fighter 2 was a really popular game. There were five versions of Street Fighter Ooh. 2, or 6 to 7 if you really want to get into the weeds. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know <laughs> if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's mm -hmm. up for discussion. Yeah, that's interesting. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, that's pretty one. crazy. Yeah, that Street Fighter 2 stuff, it might be on all their platforms. Although, I crazy still don't know stuff. if it can really be called this is just one a fighting game. game on one platform. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game, some sort of celebration of Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm thinking entirely. of it too. I mean, it is a great fighting game, and that's also, always what I play it as, but it's just a, a celebration of so DLC many fighters. series. Is it over 30? I mean, that's probably a stupid statement, because I'm sure I counted it before, but... The first Fighter's Pass just wrapped up. Yep. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. <laughs> I plan to keep working hard, so I hope you can yeah. continue to support Sometimes I feel sorry for Sakurai, since he does that's so it. much for the fans. Thank you. But I'm guessing he gets a big reward, since, you know... For one, best-selling fighting game, and... Two... He loves the fans' reactions. So, okay, that was sick. I loved it. Okay, so the character's actually releasing the 28, which is not today, but that's okay. That actually looks like a great thing, and we got, we have confirmation of another fighter's pass. Yes. Okay, well, that's it for me.
that I'm bad at outdoors by, I guess.